Hi, everyone. I, um, my name is Jenny Hernandez. I'm a, um, I'm a BC ABA, and I'm here with the ABA Exam Academy, and we're going to go over today on Let's Talk ABA, AKAs. Basically, I just created a PowerPoint with uh, different AKAs and different ways to learn, different, different ways to, to look for them. Uh, let's just start it. Uh, just for those of you who are new in YouTube uh, to our channel, uh, we're uh, ABA Exam Academy. We, we do our best to teach you guys to learn the task list and to, let me see. Do, I hope that you can hear me. Um, um, so anyways, can you hear me? Let, I'm gonna stop right now. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So, anyways, we are doing the the. We also do personalized tutoring sessions and free uh, study sessions, uh, if you need them, like today's. And uh, just as a reminder, we're hosting a test taking intensive course this Saturday. It's gonna be. April 11th at 1 p.m. and we're gonna we're gonna basically break down mock questions and figure out the pattern of, of why is it that you're getting those questions wrong and we're gonna send you a 25 mock question test and a, a test taking skill uh, data sheet to help you determine what you need to work on uh, for your test and we're also gonna do two hour course with a breakdown of the mock questions which is the actual on Saturday. And afterwards, we're gonna send you a PDF document of a modified version of the presentation that contains the tables and visuals that I created for it. It's only $17.99, and we'll send you the PDF within 24 to 48 hours or so. Okay, guys, so the disclaimer that has to be for YouTube is that remember that the meetings are meant to have active discussion and collaboration from, uh, from all of us. And due to that, uh, just double check everything you, uh, we say uh, here uh, with your books. So you are very prepared for the test. And the ethical uh, considerations is basically refrain from sharing any uh, test questions that you have seen in the past here in the live meeting. My um, main resources were Cooper, Mayer, and a little bit of Pasta Big ABA. So my question to you, to all of us is, why do we really, thank you guys for answering the chat, I just saw it now. So why do we really need to learn AKAs? The reason why we need to learn it is because we encounter a lot of AKAs in the test and they're, they're written in different formats and sometimes you do know the concept but it's really, but it, you might still get the answer wrong because they threw in there an AKA that you weren't aware of in the past. So I'm going to I'm going to start right now with a hard what I believe it's a hard question that if you know the AKAs will make it a hundred times easier. Okay so I'm going to read it and then I need at least three people answering to me either by via chat or by let me close this thing it's making me nervous uh, via chat or all the way around by person in person. Okay, so the BCBA is conducting a shaming procedure in which she provides training to her client on each step in the task analysis during every session. Uh, the procedure that she is using could be any of the following except So total task presentation, whole task chaining, whole task method or concurrent chaining. Take your time. Hi. Hi, Amy. How are you? Good. We are started already and uh, we're doing this mock uh, question. Okay. 
Anybody else? Any anybody wants to say it? I have one in the chat. I have another one in the chat. So I'm only missing one more and that's it. We're done. Um, I think it's concurrent chaining. Okay. So okay, thank you. Okay, so I have in the chat I have B, C, D, and the one concurrent, which is D. And this is, it, like I said, it's meant to be difficult. So the actual answer is B, whole task chaining. Why is it so complicated? Because it's very, whole task chaining and whole task method is very similar to each other. And none of the ones present are the ones that we typically talk about. Which one were you thinking when you were reading the, when you were reading the question, which one were you actually thinking about? What name popped into your head? Total task chaining. Oh, yes, okay. Carl. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Yes, that's it. That was what I was getting at. So that's why it's important to know the AKAs. Have we memorized them? Then we would have, it would have been much faster and easier for us to answer um, B. But well, anyways, that's uh, also some of the techniques that we're going to be covering in the, in, the, in the course, things like how to spot AKAs and how to uh, remember that we're using except. But I think all of you realize that today. Okay, guys, so enough about that. Now let's do the actual AKAs. And I think you're going to get this right because we just talked about it. <laughs> so total task chaining. Which one should I put for this one? Total task presentation. Total task presentation. Go ahead. Anybody else? Come on, guys. We just went over this, so it should be easy. It should be the easiest one from the bunch. Whole task method. Whole task me uh, method. Good job. Nice. Concurrent. Nice. Good job. And the other one is interrupting behavior shame. So in, just to let you know, in the AKAs for shaming, this is like the group that I picked. The, as, a, um, uh, as far as I, am, I have seen in the resources that I've used, uh, total task is the only one from the, from the task, from the chaining um, procedures that has AKAs. The other ones from anything about shading that has AKAs is interrupting behavior thing. So which one would you say they are? On chaining. Chain, oh, can you repeat that? On chaining. On chaining. Okay, go ahead, guys. Disrupting a chain. Yes. Go ahead. Breaking a chain. Breaking a chain, unchaining, disrupting a chain, unlinking a chain. Breaking a chain is not one. And the other one that is not is total task shaping. All right, nice job. I love the participants. Thank you. Okay, so next it's uh, match the AKAs and this one is for horizontal axis, vertical axis, and split middle line of progress. So who wants to tell me horizontal axis? X-axis. X-axis, good. And abscissa. Abscissa. It's assist abyssa. Abscissa. And how about vertical axis? Ornate and y-axis. Right, axis and order. Nice, guys. You know this one. Well, split middle line is the most difficult one. So who's, who's going to be brave enough? <laughs> Trend line. Trend line. There we go. Nice job. Okay, let's go to the next one. So here's an, uh, a simple mock question. Split middle line of progress is a line that summarizes the overall black. Level, trend, or variability? Trend. 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 Nice job. So, AKA for split middle line of progress is? Everybody say 
Trend. Trend. Nice. Trend line. Good job. Okay, token economy. Select all the AKAs that apply. Token system, penny system, penny economy. I think this one's easy. Token system. Token system. Um, and it is. Okay, AKA for prompting. Uh. Most to least prompting, I know. It's so many. <laughs> Maximum, Maximum to minimum. minimum. Something. Maximum to minimum. Okay, I, I heard a couple of people say maximum to minimum. Uh, least to most prompting. Minimum to maximum prompting. Right, let me see. Minimum to maximum, good. Delay prompting. Delay to it. Nice, that's a good one. Okay, uh, fixed delay prompting. Is that time delay prompting? Constant. Or constant? Delay prompting, we forgot that delay prompting had also progress, progressive delay. Okay. And fixed delay, and look, it has also time delay prompting. Oh. Well, it has a lot. And then fixed delay prompting is constant delay prompting. I think you said it, right? Mm -hmm. And progressive delay prompting. So we only have one left. Graduated delay. Graduate delay, delay prompting. Nice. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Me neither. Probably. Mm -hmm. right. Graduated delay prompting. Progressive delay prompting. The funny thing about AKA is that once you see it, you're like, oh, it makes sense. They're similar. But then when they present it in a mock test, it's like, oh my goodness. Kill yeah. me. You know. <laughs> so here's the thing that I found when I was making it, like very, <sighs> just like that. <laughs> Frustrating. Look, guys. Progressive delay prompting and Progressive delay. Isn't it annoying? Yeah. It's, it's so, uh, when I wrote it, I was like, am I getting it confused? Uh, but no, I double checked. So basically with AKAs, let's just read it and read it and see it and like look at this um, YouTube video a couple times and you know, make your own presentations and stuff like that and just familiarize yourself with it. Because that's all you can do. You can be too hard on yourself. So fading, is it response fading or stimulus fading? This one is important. Stimulus. Stimulus fading. Yeah. Yes. Stimulus. stimulus fading, yeah. Yes. Let's, let's not get it confused. It's a, it, 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 we know it should be stimulus fading, but just in case they, they want to choose. So discrete trial, I think you know this one. Select all that apply. DTT. DTT. DTT, so it would be this one, right? Which other one? DTR. DTR. Discrete trial mm -hmm. response. I don't think it's that one. We can all. Restricted operant. Restricted offer. Let me see. And we have, we're missing one more, I believe. Control operant. Yes. So it's restricted operant. I think this one. Controlled operant. Controlled operant and DT. Restricted operant, controlled operant, restricted. So you're all basically controlling and restricting the operant, right? Think about it that way. DT. I'm a little confused here because the discrete trial is the whole procedure. But when I say discrete trial training, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused how discrete trial is the discrete trial itself, not the training. Why I will consider discrete trial training as AKA for it? Mm, that's a good question, but I ha that's the way I found it in the book. Oh. Okay, thank you. I just looked at the uh, uh, It is a good it is a good question. We should uh, double check that one. Thank you. But they're all words that are similar or, or the same to each other. Okay. Thank you. Incidental teaching. Um, in institute training, naturalistic teaching. and naturalistic teaching. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
So if you have multiple choice, which one would you pick? Naturalistic teaching. A. D. A and B. D. C. D. D. D is the answer. Okay. All of above. Okay. Non-intensive teaching. Yeah. Oh, at the beginning when I was studying for, for the test, I was like in C2 training. But a lot of people said that, yes, it's in C2 training. Oh. So it didn't quite, like, I, I just had to remember that the weird, that weird word was the AKA for incidental teaching. But this one makes sense. Naturalistic teaching, right? Yeah. And non-intensive teaching, yes, we can start familiarizing ourselves with it. Okay, personalized system of instruction. Uh, the Keller plan. PSI. PSI. PSI, the color plan. Nice job, guys. Yes, that's great. That's great. Okay, so now let's do some AKAs. We flew through this. Let's do some AKAs from ethics. Okay, multiple relationships from the ethics. Oh. Dual relationship. Dual relationship. Yes, I knew you would get that one. <laughs> okay, dual relationships. So which of the following are AKAs for continuing education units? A. CEUs and... Um, CEUs. And B. A. Education unit too, I think. I'll have one for A. I, will have, I have one for A and one for... Oh. I think it's D. I think it's all of the above because I know it's continuing education credits. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. all of the above. You are correct. It is all the above. When I was studying for it, this one is the one that confused me. What is that one? CEU. CEUs continuing. What is okay. education when, credit? They call it CE. Okay. They call it C. Yes, they call it CE. I'm trying to allow somebody to enter. There you go. Okay, so let's see what's the last, the which one. Which of the following is an AKA for least restrictive procedures from the ethics? Least restrictive approach, least restrictive alternatives, restrictive procedures, or le le less restrictive procedures? Oh my God, my tongue. <laughs> A, D. Which of the following is an AKA for least restrictive procedure? So I have one. Can you repeat it? I'm sorry. I, I think it's D, less restrictive procedures. So I have one for, 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 for uh huh. And another one? We need. Okay. 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 Less. Let's see. Oh. Actually, least restrictive alternatives. Alternatives. Uh -huh. But this one. It was one of those mock questions that I make it like very So it's a, it's very tricky. I hope the actual test was this close, you know, this 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 close in, in them. But I wanted to make sure that we would focus on the details. So it's least restrictive alternatives. Yeah, it makes sense, alternatives. Alternatives. Yeah, but when you see them all together, they're sort of like, oh, it sort of makes sense. But just remember, is the least. You need to least. The only thing that changes is the alternatives and the procedure. Maybe memorize it like least restrictive alternative procedures. <laughs> I like that. That's not bad. Okay, what is an AKA for professional and ethical compliance code for behavior analysis? The whole thing, this. Professional and Ethical Compliance Code for Behavior Analysis. It's called, if you don't say it, I'm gonna give it to you, because this one should be easy. I didn't even give you multiple choices. Professional and Ethical Compliance. The Ethical Code? The Code. The Code. It's the Code. Code. The Code. The Code. The Code. Yep. That's it. Guys, you went through it like super fast. I'm going to post a video and it's going to be on it uh, by to, uh, on YouTube by tomorrow. And uh, don't forget the course on Saturday if you can make it. That's what uh, I was about to ask you. The course on Saturday, you said we're going to go over, we're going to dissect um, my questions. 
Yeah, but by Friday, by tomorrow, we're gonna send you a 25 question mock test. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, by, uh, uh, by Friday, we're gonna send you a 25 question mock test and there you're gonna answer the questions in your house before the meeting and, co and collect the data with the data sheet that we're gonna send you. So you can see your own pattern of behavior. At the course, the two hours, we're gonna dissect those questions, break them down and see why you got it right or why you got it wrong and all those things. And what are the key things that you need to look for? For example, is it because you forgot the accept? Is it that you forgot that there was an AKA? Is it, you know, like was it that you overlooked the keyword? Those type of things. Okay, I'll be in and I'm gonna be on Oh, great, perfect. I, I, class last Saturday was really good. Oh, thank you. I loved your participation. You were so on it. You're like, <laughs> I was calling your name all the time. <laughs> I'm passing this time. I ain't got nothing but time on my hands. I will yeah. be a when like, I come out of this quarantine. Yes. Yes. It's good. It's a good way to look at it that way. We need to just focus on what we need to focus. Yeah. I, I never I never uh, participate before. So I, I'll, if I want to participate, I'll just go to the website and register for and pay for this uh, per day for like to register and pay there for this? Yes. So okay. for if you want to uh, like this one today is free. We're talking about the course that we're hosting on, on, yeah. Friday, on Saturday at, yeah. uh, at 1 p.m. I want to try it. Yes. Yes. This is the website, uh, www.abaxamacademy.com. And there okay. you go. Okay. Make sure you click on the shop uh, button oh. when you're on the website. Okay, thank you. Hey, Carol, uh, thank you for asking. Yes, we, we're planning on making one course for verbal behavior. Uh, uh, skate, um, verbal behavior. We just, uh, we haven't done it yet, but we are, oh. it's in the works. I have a question. So it's a, uh, it's a 25 questions. Uh, all over the exam, like a not specific, bro, not specific section, right? Uh, no, this one, it's a, it's a, the main, uh, the big chunk of questions are going to come from the bigger parts of the, 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 the one, the parts that have the majority of the questions from the test, yeah. which is D, A and H, G and J. But I also have from ethics and I also have from K and I also have, uh, I think from G, something like that. But it's gonna uh, it's gonna cover up really rounded. It's rounded. Do you have any course that is just uh, specific, for example, for the experimental design or anything of this? Because I, I have certain weaknesses in certain sections, and I want to tackle it uh, specifically. Do you have something like this? Uh, right we're, pl now. we're planning that one in the near future. Good. Yeah. But we also host uh, tutoring sessions about specifics. So that's why we that's why we do the tutoring sessions, which is better in the sense that you can uh, uh, tutoring session like one to one. Yeah, one to one, and and you can request what you need. Oh, I love the to course is gonna be uh, the whole task. If we do a course on on B, like what you're saying, then it would be of the entire B, the entire B session. Like we did last week, we did one on measurement, which is the entire A and the entire H. It's a very intensive two hour. It is, it, but it's worth it though. Okay. Yeah. I want, I, want I, I will love to have it both because I really struggle with the experimental design and, and I'm just so messed up with me. No, it's, it's hard. I'm telling you, it's so much to memorize. It's overwhelming. And if we don't do it in a group or find a strategies to do it, it's very, it's very, it's very hard, especially during this time that everything is so chaotic. Yes. Chaotic. Thank you so much. I will contact you then. You're welcome. The, 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 the website and maybe we can, uh, can do something like it. Perfect. Different. Sounds great. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful night. You too. I'll see you Saturday. You Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye.